today we've got a very exciting episode <laughs> as we are focusing and having a go on fuel boats. <laughs> Gonna be fuel boaters for the day. Come with us. A lot of people ask, how do you keep warm in the winter on a boat? Well, like most boaters, we rely heavily on a special type of narrowboat trader called a fuel boat. These amazing boats are often old traditional working boats and are as beautiful as they are useful. Historically, the canals were used to transport all kinds of cargo all around the UK and some of these old boats have been restored and repurposed to continue their working lives, delivering domestic fuel like coal, logs, diesel and gas to us liverboard boaters. Each section of canal has its own fuel boat and its crew are often well known and loved in the local community. We're currently cruising up the southern section of the Grand Union Canal, which is covered by a friendly boater Andrew, helped by his lovely family, Cathy and Emily. And we've got a cool opportunity to get stuck in and join them for the day. So today we're in Berkhamstead on the Grand Union Main Line, and the fuel boat that covers this area is Jules Fuels. I've used them a few times while we've been on the GU. They're wonderful. And they watch our videos. So they've invited us have a little go at being a fuel boater for the morning. Are you nervous? A little bit. They're really big boats <laughs> and they don't drive like ours does. And we've got to pull up on other people's boats. Are you ready, Amy? You've got your strong arms out. <laughs> no! <laughs> morning! Are you ready? Hadwick is very excited. Oh. She's been herself up. <laughs> <laughs> she looks very shiny. Yeah. So this is Tadworth. Uh, she was built in 1937. She was built by Yarwoods in Northwich. And she was built for the Grand Union Canal Carrying Company. So she worked up and down this section of canal for all her life. And she carried on working right up until the early 70s. Then she was bought by Ashby Canal Association. And then she carried on carrying coal and she was one of the first boats to do coal for domestic sales and then she was the first boat or one of the first boats to have a diesel tank put in for retail sales as well and she's basically been working all the way up until the mid 90s then she required an awful lot of work and uh, she sort of sat neglected for a few years and then we bought her a few years ago and she's had a total rebuild and now back earning her keep again amazing she looks great how long? 72 foot or 71 foot 6. So when she's, at the moment she's probably drawing about 3 foot ish. When the counter's flat on it's about 2 foot 10 and then when we're fully loaded it's about 3 foot 6. Wow. But that's scraping the bottom in every bridge. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Very little's changed really. So this is the traditional cabin where they all would sleep. There's a few little concessions to modern living, but Aww. it's mostly as was. We have shared, the three of us have shared in there before. Oh really? It's quite cozy, isn't it? It's, it's very cozy, yeah. Three of us and two don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's tight. <laughs> yeah. He's broken a few. That's why there's a, there's a mysterious plate missing just there. No the hole. <laughs> How did he get up there? Did he get <laughs> he up was there? trying to get out and then he slipped and fell backwards and went donk oh. and took the plate out on the way down. Oh it's so cozy though. But that cross bed that folds up so you can you can a bit, get a bit more room yeah. and then that panel behind you there's a cut out which drops in where your leg is so you can sort of sleep diagonally if there's three of you. Yeah. And then that's how to get the three of you and a dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Emily's going to fire it up. What's that? It's to check the water. I don't quite get it. But... <laughs> <laughs> I love the sound of the trout engines. <laughs> Are you ready? I don't think it's 
so far down there. <laughs> All the coal storage. We always say we really, we always say we feel really sorry for the coal boats when it's out, when they're out in the rain, and it's just started raining. So yeah, I guess we get a taste of it. First land experience. So our first customer is behind us, so we've got to reverse back to them. I love watching them manoeuvre the boats because they're just so good at it. <laughs> They'll just do like the smallest movements and in the most efficient way. And there's no stress on the face at all. <laughs> <laughs> Maneuvered the boats into this position, and he's only just put the tiller on. <laughs> so, generally, they all work on a text system where if you're in the area, you get on their like texting mailing list, and they'll give you the route, what dates, and you'll just text them and say, I need 10 bags, please. But you can also just kind of catch them on the fly, some of them, and that's what this boat did. So, we're delivering some now. So cool seeing it from this perspective. They're so good at driving them. <laughs> and balancing. Nicely done. <laughs> you go to sail. Oh, as he's doing his first customer. Sail? Yep. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yep. Hello, I'm Pretty. Hey. Hey. Um, and it's card machine. Card machine. Ooh! Oh, nice. <laughs> Go on then. This is exciting. Time for our first lock of the day. Amy's heading down. Amy's gone down without a windlass, so now I'm windless delivery duty. <laughs> windless delivery duty. We're going to be useful with our windlasses. <laughs> Something we know how to do. Yeah. how big it is in the lock. We've normally got loads of rooms there. Huge. going out and delivering it. It's so charming. I love it. You're saying that because it's not raining though. <laughs> yeah, and because I don't have to do it every day. <laughs> Stuck right in with all the different jobs and even had a go with the diesel. I did it. <laughs> I did some of it. <laughs> it's a lot harder carrying the coal bags when you're walking around on this boat on narrower things with nothing to grab onto. Hello, I can see some customers right there. <laughs> they look like some cool customers. Amy's gonna crash it into bears now. <laughs> Race 
pace yourselves. <laughs> Lifting these coal bags was absolutely exhausting. He had to bend right down to the bottom of the deep boat, grab the 25 kilos of coal, and then lug it right up onto the gunnels. Andrew makes it look so easy. Got a dodgy customer. special surcharge on today. <laughs> <laughs> you pay it today. <laughs> oh look, the fuel boat's here. Hello, I'm a coal boat. How much would you like? Hello, fuel boat guy. <laughs> Five bags of coal please and to the top. Are you sure you want that much? It's actually quite hard work. Yes please. Get all the way to the stumps. Just push it up to make it Get to work. It's from the front compartment, okay? Yeah, it's fine. Yeah? <laughs> Thank you, fuel boat guy. That's no problem at all. As you can see, we hadn't quite got the hang of it as the boats kept drifting apart while we were trying to deliver, making it a little bit more difficult. <laughs> But it was still so fun delivering to our own boat. Okay, we're just gonna go get some kindling. Yep. Yeah, I think so, that would be enough, wouldn't it? You're right, get my car. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> Ooh, nice. Well done. Deliver it to the customer. <laughs> Thank you! Amy's gonna go set the lock. It, it started raining! Wes just drove it into the lock perfectly. Next time he does it and I'm filming, not gonna do it as well, I bet. <laughs> As a fuel boater, what's your favourite type of coal? Oh my word, um, I really like the smell of XL, mm, but I yeah. don't burn coal. I'm oh, sure. logs. Mm. Shocking. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's always XL on tablet. Wes is it fully in control. That's a lot of trust there, Andrew. <laughs> well done. I'm in charge of that You have to go right down there. <laughs> I think it's under the one I'm stood on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Next customer. Oh, 
testing muscles we didn't even know we had today. Do you like it down there, Wes? It's quite nice. <laughs> Wes is basically underwater. I feel so small. <laughs> Rain or shine, the customers needed cold to keep warm, so the deliveries continued. You got it. <coughs> Teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> nice. Go, here we go. Nice. There we go. Most vital stop of the day. Had to be done. Back out again. We're all filled up with granks. <laughs> Ready to go. It keeps raining on and off, but it's kind of nice because it sort of cools you down and then it stops. <laughs> I just hope it doesn't get worse. It's coming down now. Whew. I decided to use the rain as an excuse to check out how cosy Tadsworth's cabin is. The fire was nice and warm, the rain was tapping on the roof, and the engine was pumping away. Is this the true fuel boat experience in the rain? <laughs> Getting the fuel, the true experience now with the rain. Oh yes. <laughs> this is a true experience. The first gas bottle of the day. Towards the end of the day, we were getting really into the swing of it and feeling so much more confident. They're going to carry on a bit further, but we've still got a walk home, so we're jumping up pretty soon. All the way. Thank you so much. Bye. Bye. What a cool experience. That was so good. I think we've been doing it for how long? About four and a half hours? Yeah. We started at 10 and I think it's about two. Yeah. We use the fuel boats all the time, so it was so nice to just see it from the other side and kind of really get a grip of how difficult it is. Yeah, we already respected the fuel boats loads, but now so much more respect for them. Yeah, so thank you so much again, Andrew, Kathy, Emily from Jules Fuel. We'll they link are. them down below if you're on the Grand Union main line. Those guys are great. Yeah, absolutely love them. So friendly. We really, really appreciate that day. And we're part-time fuel boaters, so it's raining loads now. So we're gonna go home. Not really, we were gonna leave anyway and just happened to be as it started raining loads. Thanks so much for watching this special episode. Let us know in the comments if you think you'd be up for a day on a fuel boat. Big shout out to the Chip Pals on Patreon and to Deep View for the chips this week. Check us out on our socials and we will see you next time.